Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. I've just got back from dropping my kids off at school and I then decided to drive by the park that's not so far from where they are and set up this augmented reality home on this big piece of land where we have a lot of dog walkers near my house. Now, it's clear and there's no obstruction and I'm just fiddling away trying to set it down as you can see it's quite fiddly and it's not helping that i am standing myself on unsteady ground it's you know lumpy luscious grass lumps and the ground isn't even i'm in boots and i'm wearing heels well the boots are heels <laughs> or they are healed okay give it up <laughs> but this is the house let me call over a couple of sims <laughs> two or just the one yeah i'll call over ken in a minute um and yeah it's surreal i'm standing right in front of her this is beautiful now as you know when i built um barbie's penthouse in the city and her boutique and there is a mezzanine penthouse as well in the city i had been thinking to myself and i did mention it a couple of times that i wanted to um See if I could do a let's play with her, something to do with her in the city. And, you know, I keep struggling with gameplay, you know, something because I'm running out of backgrounds that are not copyrighted. Uh, I am having the same positions for The Sims because I usually cut and paste them from the wardrobe mode. And a lot of you ask, how do I do that? And lo and behold, Sims Freeplay have gone ahead and given us this amazing reality. So you could go anywhere and create scenes with your Sims. Uh, you can take your Sim to the mall and have her standing by, say, Sainsbury supermarket or something, or <laughs> Waitrose, or, and it, you, could, you could do whatever you want. In fact, um, I'm just chuffed to bits. I mean, look out there, you can see the cars drive by. <laughs> through the window you can see the outside greenery and it's just phenomenal it's it's real one thing that's a bit of an issue for me is that I'm just unsteady you know you're holding your mobile phone I'm not standing on solid ground as I mentioned before I'm not really uh, able to keep steady and not just that I'm not able to keep steady but uh, the plot the AR plot is also very bouncy you know it's really bouncy <laughs> it's just the house keeps throbbing back and forth and throbbing back and forth but I'm sure it's it's okay it's okay it's like going into um, cinematic mode in The Sims 4 it's not the easiest thing to control but certainly now I'm on my feet I'm just going into this you know restroom here and still it's just throbbing the walls are throbbing in from different sides <laughs> and I'm having a challenge trying to just keep it steady I mean I'm as steady as I possibly can but this is what it is so I'm really excited and I'm glad I didn't get ahead of myself and decide I'm going to go ahead and just get on with a let's play series and, and then this. So I'm excited. Well, actually, let me just pop outside here. That's me parked outside. That's where I dumped the car and walked across into this particular patch of land and decided to do this. Now, this is the corridor that leads upstairs in that bachelor pad. The actual life tour for this bachelor pad is online and the life build is coming up in a few days. So it's already done. It's scheduled to show up on YouTube. But one thing that sticks out for me with this augmented reality is the pool. You're diving into grass. Hmm. So I don't know about that and it just doesn't look right. So I might not play around with houses that have pools. I just have to delete it and create a different kind of backyard because it doesn't work at all. It just doesn't work. So, um, yes, this is the back part of the house and I found myself really taking the right steps to walk across the whole house just to tour it. I mean, we are about four minutes in and I've barely gone upstairs. <laughs> so if I built a big house and I was going to tour it this way, it would be a disaster. So I'm not going to do my tours like this, maybe just to show you the body of the house around and about, but certainly not for the whole tour. This will be for games for Let's Play and I'm getting excited and I've already gotten started with that. I have to be in front of stairs to actually go up these stairs to the next floor. There's just no way of getting up there. Uh, so I'm going to have to come out and replace the house, you know, reposition it and make sure that the roof, well, the second floor is at my eye level. So as I just walk straight ahead, I would come in 
at this level so I would have come from upstairs here and then I would come through this door and it's brilliant that you walk in and the door just opens up as though you're a sim so it's a small room and as I say if you've not seen the tour on the channel go and see it you'd see how the floor plan is set out um, but yeah look it's throbbing away it's just now I'm at the balcony and, and that's me again outside but yeah the walls throb a lot and it, now that I'm on the next floor it's just more unsteady but it's fantastic I am not complaining at all I'm just making an observation so this is that part upstairs where the sims can sit down and just enjoy the view as I am right now and then coming through a couple of doors and a mezzanine structure brings you out um, yeah those are the couple of doors just brings you out onto the top part here where there's meant to be a couple of bar stools and some drinks but then we have the hot tub on this side here gosh now that I'm at this point it's just throbbing away now the next thing is you can just delete the house and have your sim standing on the ground so this is the part that got me really excited because if you've been watching some of my short films on the channel like Cinderella um, and just the back story house tours that I do you find that I have real footage sometimes in the you know stories the backgrounds and so on but this I could just go off to a particular selected spot and set them down there and get a scene of course that takes me out of my house uh, and it's in my opinion just so much more worth it because I don't have to spend hours photoshopping backgrounds it's fantastic um, at some point while I was recording this I had a man walk by in between these couple of sims with his dog and he was the right size <laughs> but I had to edit him out of course because you know that's a privacy breach of some sort I need his permission but this is awesome I mean look at that um, they look perfect they look like they just had dropped off their kids and having a little chat in the park before they go off to their homes uh, to take care of business so anyway this is something that is going to allow me to really begin the let's plays that I've always wanted to do on the channel with Sims free play not necessarily the Sims 4 which I still will always do but this has been the thing that you know gives me a buzz and this is just fantastic I mean they are showing up really nicely in the light outside it isn't the best day it's quite foggy so there isn't any sunshine and it's early in the morning but they're looking absolutely fantastic they blend in perfectly this is the sim Lucy who owns the goth house that I put up a few days ago and look at how she looks outside she's just gorgeous <laughs> now I thank you so much for watching and you now know what to expect however I would love for you to leave comments down below about a storyline that you would like to see or the sort of let's play that you would like to see I am already getting started with something but I would love to be inspired by your ideas it helps it be all the more interesting for you and enjoyable for me who's creating it thanks for watching I'll see you again soon bye